Let's just say your group's great, and they're doing one of these sweet virtual choruses. You've seen them everywhere, and you just want to be a part of one, but you don't know anything about technology. I'm like, sorry, I can't help you. Leave the room. Bye. I wouldn't do that to you. It's a how-to video, but I'm fun. I don't know how to do it. Let me teach you. So let me teach you a little bit. Let me go over what we're gonna what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about video recording. You need to know about your camera options. You need to know about your lighting options. You need to know about your staging options. You need to know how to frame yourself in frame when you shoot the video. So let's talk about audio options too. We need to know what room we're in. We need to know if we have guide audio or a director video that we sing along with. And then lastly, we need to know what our audio source is. So when you record your submission, we have gotta talk about a couple more things. What are the technical things you need to know? And what are the performance things that you need to keep in mind as you do it? Because we want it to be inspired. Then the most exciting thing, I always save the best for last, files. You need to know what formats are good. Most of them should be good. And you also need to know how to get it to the end source. Oh, what fun we will have today. So much talking about all the joys of life. So what kind of camera options do you have? Well, you have your phone, which is probably going to be most people's first option, just simply because the phone cameras today are really good. So if you have a phone that's been made in the last few years, I'd recommend just using that. You have normally one or two, or in some cases three, on the back side of your phone, plus one if you're in selfie mode on the front. I would probably recommend using the selfie mode so that way you can see yourself and check your framing as you're singing. So you also have the webcam option, which allows you to record directly from your computer. Uh, in most cases, uh, you'll have it built into your laptop, or if you have a desktop with just a regular monitor, you might have the little one that sits on top and you can sort of tilt and move. And if you want to record that, then you have options as well. So on Mac, you have one called the Photo Booth, and you open that up and you can record video with your audio there. And on Windows, Windows 10 at least, you have one called Camera, and you can turn that around, watch yourself, record yourself, uh, and then always listen back to the video, but you can do that on your laptop. You can do that on whatever device you want. You can do it on whatever you want if you believe. If you believe, you can do it on whatever you want. The last option you have is the standalone video camera option, which is what I'm using right now. I have my own camera just on a tripod in front of me, so that way I can see myself with the camera flipped up. I would just definitely recommend if you go with this option, get some sort of tripod or a tall bookcase or something that you can set it onto and stabilize it and not have somebody, for instance, holding it while you do this. The next thing I want to talk about is lighting. You've got some options here, but what you do want to see is good lighting. So here is no lighting. You can see the lighting behind me for the green screen, and that's, that's sort of hitting my side profile here, but this is what it's like to have no lighting in front of you. This looks terrible. So this is my one light setup. I just have a key on my left side, so it creates somewhat of a dramatic uh, appearance, you know, with all the shadows coming down on the side of my face. Uh, I think it looks cool, it's an option. And here's the option with the fill light. Uh, these do not have dimmers on them, so it's it's by distance. They're the same brightness, but one is closer to me than the other, which is why this side of my face is ever so slightly darker than this side. I'm also gonna talk about natural light. And so you'll see an example here of where it looks really bad because the light's behind me. And then if you turn it around, it looks a lot better, I would say. So here's the ring light option. It looks okay. The second thing is too, if you have glasses, and you'll see a nice huge ring right on the end of your glasses. So uh, I think that the two point system with the key light and the fill light that I had before, is probably your best option. But if you have this, again, it's better than nothing. So let's also talk about framing. You wanna make sure that you're centered in frame from the mid chest up, right? From, from right about here up. Make sure too that when you're framing, you're in landscape mode. That is where it's wider horizontally than vertically. So the last thing we want to talk about for video staging, make sure that the things around you don't look terrible, right? So if you're using your webcam, I don't know, just clean up. Just clean up what's going on behind you. There's trash in the floor, put it in the trash can. It's probably where it should be anyway. Or if it's recycled, make sure you recycle it. It's very important. So make sure when you stage it, it looks really good and super professional if you can. If not, that's also okay. So let's talk about some audio options. Let's talk about what not to do. Where should we not record our video? 
Well, here are a couple of tips. I would not record the video by your microwave, especially if it's on. I would not record your video outside by the lawn care service. I would not record your video in the washer and dryer room. I would also not record your video near screaming children, dogs, cats, or anything else that makes noise. I would choose rooms that have carpet or rugs, fabric-based things such as couches and beds and blankets and all of that. I would avoid hardwood floors. If you have one, boom, throw a rug down. If you have one, boom, throw a blanket down. If you have nothing in the room and it's not worth it, don't use that room. It's that simple. The ensemble that you're doing your virtual choir submission for is probably going to give you some sort of guide media, and it could be a track to sing with, or it could be a director video to watch. Whatever it is, we don't want that audio to make it into your submission. And so I would just pop in a pair of headphones, just so that way you can hear it, sing along with it, uh, and then it doesn't make it into the final recording. Another thing you could do if you want, just so you can hear yourself a little bit better, is to take one earbud out so that way you can hear, and then you'll be probably not be overseeing over the tracks and all of that, and you can just leave it down here, whatever makes the most sense for you. Uh, if you really want it to look aesthetic, just pop it over the back there. So the last thing you need to consider is your audio source. Are you going to submit your audio and video together, or are you going to isolate your audio from your video? Meaning you record your video at one time, and you record your audio at another time and then send those in as separates. The first and probably the most popular option to record your audio separately would be to do it directly into your phone. Uh, it's pretty easy. There's a recording app on most phones and you can pull that up, record right into it, and then send that off. The second option would be to use a digital handheld recorder. You can probably buy that at any store and just pull it up. Make sure that you can connect that, however, to your computer so that you can get the audio off and send it off to your final destination. And your third and final option, in my estimation, is to use a studio-grade microphone, record your part into a program such as Audacity for Windows, GarageBand for Mac, and then send that out to your final destination as well. That's right, your final final option is actually the cassette player. If you send me a cassette, I will not use it because I don't know how. You, you, it's all about you right now. So let's talk about recording your submission. So you're gonna need two separate devices to record your submission. You're gonna need one device to record yourself and your beautiful video and your beautiful face. And you'll also need a second device to play your guide audio or your guide video, director video, whatever that might be, just so that way you can get the synchronization just right. But again, remember, while you're playing your guide media, you have headphones in or something, just so that way it doesn't bleed into your audio recording. It seems pretty elementary. Just make sure you read your directions before you start don't want to get into a place where you've finished it and you're like, yay, I'm done, and then you realize you didn't do something critical along the way. So at the beginning and the end of your video, make sure that you have a nice buffer so that way when we need to fade in or we need to fade out, it looks really nice. We have the footage we need to work with. Also worth noting that in those moments, it's very good to look pleasant and engaged versus disengaged and uh, not pleasant, we'll say. Just make sure to, one more reminder, if you can't hear yourself, Take that headphone out. The last part of your recording your submission has everything to do with not the technical details, but the performance part of it. In most cases, you've sung this song before, you know it, you've been in this choir for a while, so you have to do what you remember in those rehearsals. There might be some long phrases, there might be some stuff that you're not as familiar with, so take some time to memorize it. Don't be afraid to stagger breathe, just like you would. Don't breathe in the obvious places. Watch the director for any cues if that director video exists. But make sure, most of all, that you're engaged in the music and you're loving what you're doing and you're not so focused on getting it right that it's not fun. And my personal favorite is, again, just looking pleasant. There's a lot of times that I'll get submissions and they'll look like this. They might be the happiest person on the inside, but you don't want to see this. You want to see a nice lifted face, nice and pleasant, right? <sighs> so now we're to my favorite part, the last one. Remember what it was? Files. You're excited about files, I can tell. Let's talk about file formats. The best video formats are going to be MOV, AVI, WMA, FLV, MP4, and MPEGs. For audio, the best file types are going to be WAVs, AIFs, AAC files, MP4s, and MP3s. And finally, you gotta get those files out to us. How are you gonna do that? You gotta upload it somehow. Hopefully, your organization 
will have some sort of file upload structure like a Google Form or a Google Drive upload link that you can just send your files to. If I were you, I would get my audio or video from my phone and put it onto a site such as Dropbox, Google Drive, or any other cloud site and then synchronize that with your computer. Normally, you can log into that site via a web browser and download it from there. Then, once you get it on your desktop, if you've been provided an upload link, you can put your file there. If not, you can always send it via Google Drive, Dropbox, or a file share site such as Hightail, We Transfer, or We Send It, all of which are fine. Upload it, send it, and then it's done. And that's it. That's it. You, you know how to do everything now, hopefully. My goal is not perfection, it's improvement. I don't want you to know everything. I just want you to know more than you did. One button click right there, bottom left corner, subscribe for me. For you. With me. A little bit of reverse psychology. Do not subscribe to my channel. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, leave. But before you leave, subscribe. Whatever. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Cole Kits and Music. Not a big deal. Just go not follow that too. If you like my content, I don't care. Why are you still here? Why are you still listening to this video? All the content's over and you're just watching me ramble about not subscribing. Don't do it. Whatever you do, don't subscribe. But if you do, the button right there. Video one, if you want to see that, there's a video here. There's also one here. Either one's fine. I really just want you to watch the next video. So with that, I'm out, I suppose. There'll be more videos someday, but today, there's not. Bye.